Our text today is from 2 Timothy, the first chapter, the first few verses. I'm grateful to God, whom I serve with a good conscience, as my ancestors did. I constantly remember you in my prayers day and night. When I remember your tears, I long to see so that I can be filled with happiness. I'm reminded of your authentic faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. I'm sure that this faith also is in you. Because of this, I'm reminding you to, be, to revive God's gift that is in you through the laying on of my hands. God didn't give us a spirit that is timid, but one that is powerful, loving, and self-controlled. Will you pray with me, please? Heavenly Father, we're grateful to you that you didn't give us a timid spirit, one of fear, but one that is filled with power, and discipline, and love. And that only comes from you, Father. If we're within ourselves, we do not have that capability, but with your Holy Spirit, with the community of faith, with your word that you've given us, and for the victory of the cross and the resurrection, we can have a spirit of power, even in the midst of a world that is filled with fear and is filled with many difficulties. We come to this time, Father, to honor those to whom honor is due, to recognize the accomplishments that they've had, to bless and to send on those who have completed the, their journey here at uh, Hope International University, and just to, for you to guide them into the future, that they might truly serve the church and impact the world for Christ in the various ways you've called them, in the various ways you've gifted them. And so we thank you uh, for this time of encouragement, accomplishment, and we pray that you will be honored as well as the one who has given the gifts to all of us. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. Thank you for this day of life. Thank you for the opportunities to serve you. In your name we pray, amen.
Good morning. John Turek, Director of Athletics here at the University, and it is my pleasure this morning to uh, hand out and award our athletes, our senior athletes. They were awarded at a reception on, on Monday evening, but we're going to call them back again. Will Erickson Fish, Drew Moore, Lee Mutter, Bree Maikai, Kyle Ray, Jasmine Esquivel, and Taylor Pierce, please join me on the stage. As they're coming up, uh, the awards were given in three different categories, Scholar Athlete, Champion of Character, and Athlete of the Year. First presentation is to Erickson Fish, our male Scholar Athlete of the Year. Erickson's not in cap and gown because he graduated in December. He's actually in, in grad school right now. Our, our uh, female recipient for Scholar Athlete of the Year is Drew Moore. <laughs> Champions of Character Award winner, Lee Mutter. And on the female side, Bree Maikai. Our male athlete of the year uh, had a fantastic season. He will be a three-time All-American this year and uh, was an outstanding athlete for us, Kyle Ray. It's hard to choose. Uh, the female athlete of the year as both of these young ladies uh, led their teams to GSAC championships this year. First in the fall at women's soccer, we introduced Jasmine Esquivel. <laughs> and just a week ago, uh, our softball team won the GSAC championship and uh, our leader of that group, Taylor Pierce. May be seated. Thank you. Would Abby and Christian and Judy please join me? These are the Student Leadership Awards. The Department of Student Affairs strives to provide holistic support for our students to grow intellectually, socially, and spiritually to impact the world for Christ. Though facilitated by staff, the heart, soul, and overall success of our department depends on you, our amazing students. The effectiveness of our programs from athletics to student life and housing all benefit from the passion, humility, and energy that you bring as student leaders. In order to promote our core values of leadership development, diversity appreciation, spiritual development, and community engagement, we would like to honor several students and recognize their outstanding service and leadership over the past year and throughout their time here at HIU. Would the following students come to the stage? Stephen Kopp, Linnea Purvis, Eric O'Connor, Francis Lazaro, Alexio Gomez, and Raylene Acosta. Christian Andres, resident director. Um, I have the privilege of uh, presenting our first award, which is the Student Affairs Servant Leadership Award. Uh, this re award recognizes individuals who exemplify exceptional servant leadership at Hope International University. These students have demonstrated an outstanding spirit of service and a genuine heart of humility. 
Their leadership has made a profound and lasting impact throughout this campus, and we are confident that after graduation, they will continue to serve the church and impact the world for Christ. The Student Affairs Servant Leadership Award recipients are Stephen Kopp and Linnea Purvis. Our second award is the Student Affairs Diversity Leadership Award. This award recognizes an individual for outstanding contributions in fostering diversity appreciation within the university. These students have demonstrated significant achievement in seeking justice and equality on campus in order to generate a healthy view of how to celebrate the diversity within Hope's community. Galatians 3.28 encourages us with these words. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. The Student Affairs Diversity Leadership Award recipients are Eric O'Connor and Francis Lazaro. This award that recognizes the spiritual maturity of individuals who have shown faithfulness in spiritual disciplines such as prayer life, Bible study, and church attendance. These individuals also seek God in personal turmoil, recognize God's sovereignty in their lives, and submit to his lordship. These students are examples of encouragement to all of us as we continue to pursue God and grow in our spiritual walk. The Student Affairs Spiritual Development Award recipients are Alexio Gomez and Raylene Acosta. Will Julia Peel please approach the stage? The College of Arts and Sciences at Hope International University seeks to present Julia with the Academic Achievement in a Cal State Fullerton Contract Program Award. From the first moment I met Julia, I knew she had appeal. That's for you, <laughs> Dr. Edgington. <laughs> Julia, you have been a delight to me the past four years. I can't see a penny on the ground without thinking of the first speech you gave in my class where you told me it was not even worth picking up. I can't go through the cable news channels without thinking about another speech you gave where you said politically conservative sports anchors are treated differently than their liberal counterparts. I'm proud of all that you have achieved here at HIU and Cal State. Julia is a social media assistant and a writer for the Daily Titan. Her articles include Study Habits Help Students Ace Finals and Queens Follow Their Art for a Crown. Congratulations on the contract award. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Will Madison Tassie and Christian Jordan Skinner please come to the stage? <laughs> The study of literature helps us glimpse other worlds that we might tread closer to loving our neighbors and indeed our enemies. As such, it requires patience, sensitivity, and an alert intellect. Every one of our English majors possesses these qualities. We are so proud of our cohort. Today, we honor two senior English majors who consistently startle us with their mental ability and creative power. 
I am delighted to, um, to honor Christian Jordan Skinner today with our lovely Literary Scholar Award. Let me hand that to him, and then I want to say a few words. One of my favorite memories about Jordan was the very first time that I met him. He was an undeclared major, and he was uh, attending one of my upper division literature courses just because, right? Like you were visiting the, yeah, extra credit. That's, he was getting extra credit. Uh, but he, he was there, he was a freshman, and my upper division students were doing, you know, really intense literary analysis and presenting their thesis assertions, and Jordan spoke up and he asked really incisive questions. And all of the other English majors in the class, we all, myself and them, we all turned our heads and thought, mm, we, we want him. We want him to be in our class. And I think we, on the way out of class, said, hey, you need to be an English major. And, uh, and that was it. That's all she wrote. And um, second story is even just last night after a long day of teaching, I was so excited to look at a paper that Jordan was writing for a totally different class, just to look at his ideas, his insight, and to be able to offer some feedback because he truly does have this very impressive intellectual mind um, that I'm confident will go on to do very great things. So congratulations, Jordan. The English department awards its highest honor for creative writing, the Golden Quill, <laughs> handmade by Steve Alley. He is the maker of these awards. I know him well. <laughs> Madison gets the Golden Quill. Many of you know her best for her outstanding chapel that she presented last fall when she staged the courageous and profound one-act play and. And is a good word for Madison because she is a playwright and a poet and a writer of fiction and a journalist. Many of you have seen her work in the yearbook and in the newspaper. She is a novelist. She began writing stories when she could hold her first pen. And together with her partner in crime, Ben Garcia, she writes spine-tingling murder mysteries that have entertained so many of us. Madison, we honor your sensitive heart and your brilliant mind. And we pray God's blessing as you continue to tell the stories that challenge our minds and touch our hearts. Bless you. There you go, darling. I would like to ask Crystal Gonzalez, Andrew Schultz, Alyssa Hendrickson, and Jose Degante Sanchez to please come join us on the stage. The Renaissance Scholarship Award um, awards are given to students who have demonstrated excellence in more than one academic field in the College of Arts and Sciences. In particular, we honor the deep intellectual curiosity of our underclassmen and newer students, and we celebrate the bright promise of their future academic careers. This year, the Renaissance Scholarship Awards go to Crystal Gonzalez, Andrew Schultz, Alyssa Hendrickson, and Jose Gigante Sanchez. Will the following people please come to the stage? Uh, Brady Lang and Taylor Liula.
The College of Arts and Sciences of Hope International University seeks to present an award each year to two students who have excelled in the study of social science. Brady Lang has made us all very proud during his time here at Hope. He genuinely loves to learn and loves to be challenged. He's always willing and excited to listen to different perspectives, whether they be conservative, liberal, libertarian, or leftist. This past summer, he and Taylor both had the honor of interning for Congressman Ed Royce. They both represented HIU incredibly well, and Brady came back with a lot of fun stories to share. I should also note that I've been helping Brady study for the law school admissions exam over the last few weeks, and I'm 100% certain that he'll get a better score than I did. <laughs> this year's Social Science Student of the Year Award goes to Brady Lang. The Social Science Department also uh, gives an award to the Outstanding Human Services student. And um, this year's recipient is Taylor Liua. And this is what her advisor and supervisor, uh, Professor Jessica Alberg, had to say. In all her practicum and internship placements, Taylor represented HIU with professionalism, leadership, and excellence in upholding the values of the human services profession. Taylor has a heart for serving the most vulnerable around us, the passion to advocate on their behalf, and the courage to take risk, all characteristics of a great human services professional. Taylor has also excelled in the classroom and achieved um, academically at the highest level, and so it's my pleasure to award her the Human Services Professional Development Award. Congratulations to Brady and Taylor. Will the following students please come to the stage? Noah Daniel and Megan Kinney. Our Academic Excellence in Business and Management Award recognizes business students with exceptional scholarship. Students must demonstrate outstanding citizenship within our college, as well as have a minimum cumulative grade point average of 3.5. Megan Kinney and Noah Daniel, we know you will be making meaningful contributions to society throughout your life, and will choose to take positions to be of service to those with whom you interact. All for the glory of God. With this in mind, in addition to receiving a certificate to acknowledge this very significant academic milestone, our college has chosen to give you a Bible engraved with your name on it. Read it often, both of you. May the Lord bless you with wisdom in every endeavor. You are called to as you co-labor with him in his kingdom purposes in the marketplace. Congratulations. There's the engraving I'm showing them. I miss you guys. Would the following students please come forward? Kayla Jensen, Drew Moore, and Vanessa DeSimone. The College of Education presents a couple different kinds of awards, and I'm here today to present the Academic Achievement Awards for students who not only have done excellently academically, but have also invested in our campus and have been a pleasure to have in all of their classes. The winners of this 
Academic Achievement Award are Drew Moore and Vanessa DeSimone. I need to make sure you get the right <laughs> And look, we made these cool things. I know, I'll let you put it on. <laughs> on behalf of the College of Education, it is my privilege to present the Servant Leadership Award to Ms. Kayla Jensen. Kayla, we have loved watching you grow in your time here at HIU and thankful that we will still have you in grad school. <laughs> KJ, as we lovingly call you, I communicated with a few of the people who have been connected with you over the years. A coach, the athletic director who you worked with for a year on work study, and two of your College of Education professors. And here's what they had to say about you. They said you are a determined woman who isn't afraid to meet life's challenges. You set goals and you keep striving for them. You are diligent and meticulous and you are attentive to detail. You are enthusiastic, joyful, and a hard worker. And most importantly, you are, a compass you are compassionate and a servant leader. And once again, that's why it's our privilege to present you with the College of Education Servant Leadership Award. Would the following students from Pacific Christian College of Ministry and Biblical Studies please come to the stage? Alec Bell. Amanda Brumlow, Josh Drews, Brendan Wine, Francis Lazaro, Matt Strand, Devin Green, Raylene Acosta, Kiernan Holt, Carlos Austin, and Lena Fritz. I'm David Masson, uh, Professor of Biblical Studies and Chair of Pacific Christian College of uh, Ministry and Biblical Studies. For a school that began as Pacific Bible Seminary in 1928, the study of Scripture has, has been and is the heartbeat of our school. And so it's my distinct honor today to recognize four individuals who have excelled in some facet of biblical studies. Uh, the first individual I'd like to recognize is Alec Bell. Alec is receiving today our Excellence in Biblical Studies Award. Come on up, Alec. Uh, this guy, I tell you, I had him as a freshman last year. I got his first exegetical paper, and I said, wow. <laughs> this guy's going to be a pleasure to read for the next four years, and he is not disappointed. Alec, congratulations. Uh, you've got a nice, generous check for $3.76, so spend it wisely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Our second recipient is uh, Josh Drews. Where are you, Josh? Come on up, Josh. Josh is receiving what we're calling the Stone Campbell Journal Promising Scholar Award. It's named after the two founding figures of the religious tradition with which this school is associated, Barton W. Stone and Alexander Campbell, uh, the premier graduate journal uh, associated with our religious traditions called the Stone Campbell Journal. They ask us every year, do you have a promising scholar that you want to recognize? And we certainly do. Uh, Josh, uh, I had Josh in a number of courses. And the thing that really impressed, about, impressed me about Josh was I knew that he was going some, through some tough things personally. And yet it never affected the quality of his work. He learned resilience, which I think is one of the most important qualities you can have in life. So Josh, we award you today the Stone Campbell Promising Scholar Award. You receive not only a generous check for $3.76, but also, uh, that's a joke, by the way. <laughs> don't, don't take me seriously here, folks. Uh, you receive a one-year subscription to the Stone Campbell Journal, and also uh, uh, your check, and you can find out how much it is later. God bless you. <laughs> the last two awards are associated with Zondervan Publishing, Zondervan Publishing also asked us to recognize an outstanding student, uh, this time in the field of theology. Uh, the study of scripture is the beginning point of theology, but then we need to go on and we need to ask hermeneutical questions and how things relate to uh, our modern world. And that involves theology. And there's an individual that we want to recognize today who has proven himself to be thoughtful, 
uh, who, who listens to various points of view and doesn't just latch onto one right away. And I think we can all agree that this person is very deserving of this award, and that's Brendan Wine. Where are you, Brendan? <laughs> Brendan also will have his name on a plaque, and uh, you will join an illustrious company of previous recipients, and this plaque will be on the wall of our newly renovated restroom right here on the second floor. <laughs> so not, that's a joke as well. All right, uh, that, this will actually hang in our, in our uh, biblical studies and ministry uh, offices, and so we congratulate you, Brendan. I'm going to let you hold this for a little while, but you have to give it back to me. Okay. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right, congratulations. He's also getting married, so be praying for Brendan. <clears throat> our final award is the Zondervan Greek uh, Studies Award. When I found out at the beginning of the year that I was going to have, beginning of the school year, that I was going to have a freshman take my Greek class. My first thought was, no way. No way. This is a course for juniors and seniors at best. And I said, well, she's a ministry honors student. Okay, let's give her a shot. And uh, wow. She not only excelled in my Greek class, she today is the recipient of the Zondervan Greek Study Award, Amanda Brumlow. <laughs> She also will receive a book from Zondervan of her choice, and, and Amanda, don't leave yet. You also will have your name on this illustrious plaque. I'll give it to you momentarily, but you must also give it back to me, okay? Congratulations. We have four awards for uh, recognizing ministry. Uh, the people on the stage that we're presenting this to are people who have a heart for God and a heart for people. I appreciate them a lot. I had uh, 40 years of ministry experience before I came to Hope, and uh, when I look into their eyes, I see the future, and I appreciate that very much as someone who's like handing a baton because I don't get to do the work anymore, and looking forward to the work they're going to do, and I'm uh, very excited about them. I tried to think of a word for each of them. Um, Raylene, if you could come over here. Uh, my word for you is passion. Well, that's what I love about you. I've enjoyed getting to know you, and I hope you'll come back and see me sometime. I will. Okay. Thank you. Well, the next person tells me I must call him the goat. Uh, Devin, if you could come over here. Uh, the word I have when I, when I know Devin and think about him, I think of his vision. You know, I hear his mind percolating and coming up with ideas, and uh, they're centered on service, and I really appreciate that. So. Uh, the next uh, person uh, tells me he's my, uh, that I'm his favorite teacher and he's my favorite student all the time. Uh, uh, Matt Strand. Uh, the word I think of you is tenacity. I love the way you're hanging in there, the way you choose not to give up. Thank you. And the last word and the last person is Francis. If you come over here, I have one for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the word I have for him is servanthood, and I appreciate his heart, and it seems like uh, he's always kneeling before God as he serves people. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. This year, um, the Outstanding Music Major Award will go to Carlos Austin. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Which I didn't ask. Uh, anyway. Outstanding Music Ministry Award will go to Kiernan Holt. Uh, Outstanding Choir Member Award will go to 
Lina Cho, I'm sorry, uh, Lina Fritz. Yeah. We're all dismissed. Yeah. Lena, just stay here. <laughs> Wait, first, I would like to go back and have that music as we walk up. <laughs> I just feel like I deserve that. <laughs> and will Jamie Maldonado and Jasmine Esquivel please come join Lena as well on the stage? The College of Psychology of Hope International University seeks to recognize several students each year for the accomplishments uh, that they've demonstrated over their career here with the Award for Excellence in Psychology. This award is given to students who have distinguished themselves in several ways, through leadership activities, service on or off campus, um, academic achievement and professionalism expressed through the development of Christ-like character and professional qualities as well. Our first recipient is a student who has demonstrated great faithfulness in her career at Hope. She has consistently demonstrated academic excellence. She has served tirelessly in multiple capacities on campus. You have been served by her, even if it's from, you know, she's at the back of the room, believe me. Um, she's a woman of godly character who seeks to thoughtfully connect her classroom learning with her life, with her faith, with her future. She wrestles with her learning. She's one of my most likely to stay behind for a little extra chat about what we talked about that day um, after class. It's been my privilege to have a window into this thoughtful young woman's journey. The Award for Excellence in Psychology goes to Lena Fretz. <laughs> Congratulations, Lena. Our second recipient is Jasmine Esquivel. So let me give this to you first and say a few words. Can we give it up for Jasmine? <laughs> I remember how thrilled you were when you broke records this year on the soccer field. And I was thrilled along with you, but I wasn't surprised because that's who you are as a person. You break records. You, you set a standard, whether it be for the way you treat people, your professors, your peers, your family, um, new members to your family, little babies, your man, girl, I see <laughs> how well you love him, um, your, your brilliance, your creativity in the classroom, your innovation, your servanthood, um, your capabilities in research you gave along with your group members, one of the most amazing research projects I've ever come across in the last five, six years. Well, I've been here a long time, y'all. <laughs> um, and you do it all with grace, humility, and kindness. And that is just the most beautiful thing about you. I pray that that continue to be your testimony as you go out into the world. So congratulations. One more time for Jasmine. <laughs> and, ooh, gosh, this is emotional. Um, our third recipient is Jamie Maldonado for the same excellence in psychology. And Jamie's a beautiful spirit and actually she, I don't, hope you don't mind me sharing, just lost somebody really important to her this week and um, you know, just we were chatting about that and I know how hard it's been for you but the thing with you is even through trial and tribulation, your, 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 your spirit stays faithful and sweet and serving to everyone around you. You never let the bad things that happen to you change who you are as a person and to the way you treat people, even if you have every reason to. One of my favorite things about you is this kind of righteous indignation you have about yourself. You, you're strong. Um, moral compass and your sense of what is good and right and fair and the way you speak up for others and 
become their cheerleaders and, and serve them. And you've done that through Psychology Club, through your teaching assistantship, through just your friendships with, with people who are like you and who are not like you. I'm so proud of the woman you are. And again, this is in addition to all of them being excellent students, but so proud of the woman you are and pray that, that all of that continue to be your testimony as you go out into the world. So thank you for being amazing. <laughs> Dr. Paul McReynolds was beloved by several generations of students who learned New Testament from him at Pacific Christian College from the 1960s to the 1990s. Dr. Paul McReynolds was famous for his patient, gracious teaching in biblical studies classes and his published Greek-English interlinear New Testament with which many of you have become familiar. He was also deeply committed to the teaching and learning process. He was commonly known to his students simply as Dr. Paul. When Dr. Paul retired several years ago, he funded a faculty excellence award in the name of his parents, Rose B. and Edgar B. McReynolds. The terms of the award call for it to be given each year to a, a Hope International University faculty member who exemplifies teaching learning excellence in the classroom and service to the students of Hope International University. The award includes a plaque for the recipient to keep, the inscription of their name on a perpetual plaque, which displays the names of each recipient year by year, and a very, very generous cash award. Nominations were sought from faculty and students, and based on those nominations, a final selection was made. The recipient this year is well known by students for creative, thought-provoking class sessions, for engaging students in the classroom, for engaging them outside of the classroom in a caring, encouraging way. This professor routinely goes the extra mile to help students learn. This professor inspires students to learn more and do more than they thought they could for nurturing students' confidence and their sense of efficacy. Students write course evaluation comments that praise this professor with things like, I wish the class lasted longer. That's pretty rare. <laughs> I wish the course was two semesters so that we could go into more depth, things of that nature. This year's Faculty, Alex uh, Faculty Excellence Award goes to DRW, Dr. Denise Wallace. <laughs> say anything and he said probably and now I'm crying so is that a good speech oh um I really like being here you guys so thanks for letting me work here and work with students it's it's like I, I'm not lying to you when I say I come here and I see your faces and that's the best part of my week and um, so I thank Jesus every day that I get to do that and spend time with you guys. You minister to me and I get way more out of this than you do out of my stupid classes so thank you. Oh, I wore mascara. Um, okay, I said something. Would you all please stand for the benediction? Father in heaven, it's been a good morning. 
And you know that in honoring those who have been honored today, we've not wanted to inflate them with pride or deflate or discourage others. Rather, it has been our heartfelt desire to recognize hard work, work well done, work done with excellence, to give honor to whom honor is due, to encourage learning in our community of learning. Father, finally, we give our learning and all honor to you and ask that you use our learning to serve and bless others in the name of Jesus. Amen.